Welcome to Cinema, the movie and television podcast show that talks about everything dirty, uh, mean, to my and nasty. It rubs the lotion on its skin in Hollywood and beyond. If it's sin, we're in. This is Brandon Luna with Calypso Cigar Review and Cinema. I'm Randy Rankin with Calypso Cigar Review and Cinema. And we're still here at the Texas Frightmare Weekend, and today we're going to talk to some guys who are promoting a new film called Among the Dead. Filming here in Texas. Yeah, Austin Absolutely. area, in, uh, nice. San Antonio, New Brunswick, well, okay, great. Texas, pretty much. Absolutely, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, so don't your, name the Matt, your name is Your name is I'm William. William? William? Yeah. I'm Matt. William is Stone. Okay. And what is your name? Jesse. Oh, he's he talk. We have talking zombies. You can't have talking zombies. <laughs> Cut. We got to start now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the uh, concept of the film, what you guys have been doing to get it going, and uh, why you're here this week. Well, basically, it's like I like the, like the tagline in there. It's pretty much 28 days later meets Day of the Dead. You know, it's fit, it's uh, based in Austin, Texas. We are a. Um, it's based off of like having a flu type of virus, and the people who got the vaccine are the people that become. Zombies. Oh, much. okay. That's if you get clever. the vaccine, you're screwed. Those are the people who didn't. Right. Are the right. Ones that are left so if you don't have Obama health care, you're exactly. okay. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know, it's it's in, it's hard to define because it's very, it's almost like a TV series, but it's a film. Okay. You know, there's very there's it's very character driven. Okay. Very yeah. cool. And I understand you guys are doing a comic book to go along with yes, to kind of flesh yes, out sir. the story. What, yeah, who's the, doing that for you guys? Uh, Dark Stu- Clown Studios. Dark Clown Studios. And they're an Austin-based comic book company. And Keeping it in Texas. We yes, appreciate cool. that. We, yeah. Absolutely. We want absolutely. all Texas talent and all Texas crew. Well, we're, 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 we want a part. We've been trying to get killed in a horror movie for years. So <laughs> we can blow your brains out. <laughs> nice. I love it. would really love if you did that. That would be great for me. so cool. We've got some really cool talent. To have Randy's brains as blown out. Well, as we've gotten uh, Bill Johnson, who was Leatherface in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre yes, 2 right. with Dennis Hopper. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've got Elsie Holt, who was uh, Lamb in uh, Your Next. Okay. Uh, nice. And uh, Dallas' favorite, uh, Paris Randall's on board. Oh, our, hey, uh, Paris. We know Paris. Paris. Yeah, He's at Circus of the Dead. A buddy of mine yeah, did, yes. uh, did Circus of the Dead. Billy, yeah. Billy yeah, Pond. Yeah, we were familiar with Billy Pond. Billy Pond is awesome. I, I went to high school with Bill. I love the guy. <laughs> very, very cool. That's cool. So, so yeah, so we got Parrish okay. involved, and, and so you know, we've been, uh, we're really looking forward to um, to you know, getting this going. We we filmed a lot of it already, but you know, we're going to be sh- spreading it out in segments right now because we're trying to make sure we maintain the quality. We're not going to put out crap. So and you know. as far as quality, I understand you guys are shooting this on red. Red can, it's 4K. Correct. We are shooting on 4K uh, because our plan is to be released in, the- in theaters throughout the globe. Uh, like I said earlier, we've got followers right now in about 65 countries. We have thousands of people that are already following us, and we're just getting started. We've only shot about 10 minutes of the actual footage so far, and we still have a lot more to go. So we're looking for anybody that's willing to, you know, or interested in being a part of this, whether on screen, behind the screen. You know, this is a great opportunity. We're filming primarily on the weekends so that if somebody has a day job Monday through Friday, but they still want to be a part on the weekends, they can. Me, 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 me. Yeah, gotcha. Definitely interested. <laughs> Let so, me ask you then. Uh, so, what is your uh, what's your history with zombie movies? I mean, what uh, what got you inspired to do a zombie movie? Well, I mean, I guess Twenty Eight Days Later is one of my favorite movies. Great movie. Period. Yeah. Um, honestly, without bringing a downer, I was never really going to make a zombie film, but I've experienced a lot of personal tragedy over the last three oh. years. I lost all three of my brothers in three years, and so death kind of That's like rough. sitting yeah. on my shoulder. So I decided to write something tragic with something dark and fucked up so right. zombies came to mind i'm a big walking dead fan so okay. I, I jumped on that you know okay. but i have i feel like even though i've expired by those films 28 days later day of the dead walking the dead our story has nothing to do with it right. Right. i mean i gotcha. really went out of my way to make sure i wasn't copying or pulling as much from them so it's a gotcha. very original story gotcha. it's still story driven and that's one of the things that i believe horror really needs to go back to Absolutely. you know you know unless you're really going for the 80s slasher killer type you know a story is important first and foremost all about the story i've always said and we've we've agreed you got to give me somebody to care about or why do i give a crap if they're exactly. getting killed i need somebody to latch on to and that's exactly. one of the reasons we we love independent horror films because they do that better than hollywood they'll actually give you a story they'll give you dialogue they'll give you you know characters that are worth something and then they start killing them off and sometimes it's out of budgetary necessity. It's like we only have so much budget for blood and gore, right. so let's get some you know dr- drama and some dialogue in here. But that makes a world of a difference for a movie. I mean, it makes a big difference. So we appreciate you guys doing that, bringing Absolutely. that I, to I the respect it. And uh, like you know, Billy and Circus did. You cared about Paris's character. Paris mm-hmm. was the guy you cared about in that movie. So 
That's cool. I'm glad that he's working with you guys on yeah. that. That's yeah, we're really looking forward to working with him. He's got a, a really cool sleazy redneck type of character that's inspired by the rape scene. I could see him play. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. So it's nice. Great. It's not a rape scene, but it's inspired by Okay, the scene. great. Uh, and it's, it's, he just, it's eats, he just eats a pig really sexy. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's, it's a really rough scene, actually, but it's all. Yeah. <laughs> he says you have an okay mouth, not a pretty mouth. Yeah, okay <laughs> it's just kind of so-so mouth, yeah. <laughs> Well, very cool. We're definitely looking forward to it. And how can people uh, find out about your about your thing here, about your movie? Among the Dead movie um, on, on Facebook. On Facebook yeah. and Twitter. And Twitter. Uh, yeah. But primarily we're on Facebook. So we update that, you know, every day, every other day. Uh, we're putting on there where we're filming, you know, who maybe just came, came on board with us. Um, and also if we're looking for, you know, say 20 extras to be zombies this weekend, we'll post that on there and we'll let people know. Sounds very fun. Cool, very cool. A lot of zombies and FEMA agents. Okay, great. FEMA, Excellent. FEMA is, uh, is kind of not to, well, they are what they are. Let's I just have, say that. Gotcha. I, have pre I have previous military and uh, agent <laughs> acting <laughs> in my history, so I can definitely <laughs> do that. Yeah. So. Well, we appreciate you guys giving some Thank time so here, much. and um, it's awesome that you guys are out here.